Welcome to the channel and a new video. Now I know everyone that watched the boat video can't wait to see another video on it. But for us, this is kind of a, it's gonna be a bit of a side job. So we can't just constantly stay on it. We gotta get on with the cars as well. But we both had a chat last week and decided we need to do a little bit to this boat and actually find out a bit more about it and get a little bit more in depth. So I've been and got some supplies for it. We're gonna roll it up, get it open and have a good look at that engine, mate, I guess, and yep. see if yep. a lot of the stuff, what needs replacing, what else we need to order. I guess we'd just go from there, get well, some it's terrible on it. Terrible, really. We've not even tried to see if it turns over. No, we haven't, we, have we? We just, uh, but it was a bargain, though. It was a, a uh, incredible bargain, really. So, for those of you that are watching this for the first time, we paid £1,500 for this four berth boat and it is beautiful it really is nice it's got a lovely trailer but not without its faults the legs been removed the engine looks like it's got quite a few pieces missing so anyway no waffle let's get in there get that cover open and have a look got a bit sidetracked and there ain't enough room in there for two people so chris copped the job we and after a little bit of inspection notice the solenoid is missing from the start motor so that kind of um, ended that yeah. idea, didn't it? Yeah. But start mode's off, so we've now got to uh, either source the solenoid for that or source the starter motor. But I then took a couple of pipes off the front of the engine, and we've got another issue. And that is that it will only turn over so far. It will go back that way a little bit more, I think, but not a great deal. It goes back, and when you come back this way, it locks up there. Yeah. So I've took all the plugs out. I think the only thing you can do is take the uh, rocker covers off. Yeah. And have a look at the rockers and see if we've got that stuck valve, maybe. Yeah, we just don't know with this, do we? It's a good long time, hasn't it? Um, Has only been in fresh water, which is a plus. Yeah, I've, so I've sprayed a load of that down the bores with the, the plugs out. So, it's... I don't know, do you also know it's same with the plugs, didn't you? You've just been well, telling the me. The Champion, which I reckon they've probably been in there a long time. You don't see many champion plugs for sale, do you? No. These days. So I would imagine they've been there quite some time. But yeah, so that's as far as I got really, Rob. Um, nothing else to report really. I think I'll take the rocker covers off. Just have yeah. an inspection. Yeah, and you might find one where there's a massive uh, gap, you know, um, clearance, which indicates a stuck valve, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. Give it an headache. Yeah, and see if it'll spring back, you know. Uh, failing that, it's going to have to have the heads off, isn't it? Yeah. Let's get them, heads, we, get them heads off, mate. We'd just pull the engine out of it, wouldn't we? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, to be fair, once the inlet manifold's out, the carburetor and the inlet manifold's out, the head's coming up easy, do not Plenty of room. Yeah. I guess we'll leave you to get those covers off and then we'll have another look then, mate. It's um, That's not good, though, is it? It's locked up a little bit. Well, it's not locked up, is it? But well, it's only... It's got a... a uh, well, it's more than a tight spot, isn't it? The guy did say, and I mean, he was completely open and honest as far as I'm concerned. He did say that they stripped the leg off to do some repairs, but they did have to disconnect this engine and move it forward in order to get yeah. the leg off. Yeah. So... I was just under the impression that it hadn't been put back and hadn't been plumbed up, but mm. of course you found that early on, so we'll just let you keep investigating, mate, and I'm sure you'll... I don't know if you can hear that on the, on the mic on, but... Yeah, really? Yeah, that's what I'm in now, isn't it? Something. Tapping a valve or something. It's either that or it's got a very nasty uh, valve stem in it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll let you whip them rockers off, mate, and have a look. I think that's all we can do. Yeah, do it. 
I know you can all appreciate how tight it is in there. And even Chris gets up and thinks, how am I going to work this one out? But he just cracks on, doesn't he? Works his way around it and soon finds a solution to the problem. So he's got in there and got straight on with it. Now, I'll let you explain that. We are rolling. Oh, right. Yes. So, the easiest thing I can probably do is now, picking up from where we left off, Rob, demonstrate that it now turns over lovely freely it's got some compression in it no no I've, that's just that uh, auxiliary water pump i suppose it's hard to keep getting that allen key in it it is but it's all turning over yeah I've, I've been over two or three times so what was it so took this one off yeah all looked all looked fine Took this one off. Take that camera while you're explaining that, just so you can see it a bit better. So, took this one off, which is one, three, and five cylinders, all, all fine. Took this one off, which is two, four, and six. So, exhaust valve on number two was open, stuck open. Right. And I thought, right, so I took that off. You can see I've only just put it on there loose. I took that off. Right, I'll turn that round till the piston comes up against it and I'll come and get you. Yeah. And I turned it to too much or leaned on it too much and it went ping! Popped straight up. Yeah. Oh, so it wasn't really, I obviously wasn't. If I'd hung on that a bit harder. Yeah, you, you don't want to hang on it that, though, do that, you? That, you would have, that would have gone. So um, they're hydraulic followers, so that's just got to be tightened back to the correct torque setting, um, which leads me on to even better news yeah let me grab that camera from you are you going to come in yeah and All i right. want oh, you're going to have to get you to fold this down so mate. i was i thought i'd seen workshop manuals so i opened the uh the cabin you're right watch that yep. start motor yeah open the cabin up you're following in i'm following you mate permission to come aboard permission granted <laughs> right so yes so found all the manuals i remember seeing these when we bought so it i thought well that's good and then i just glanced it. i'll put it back i should put it back really shouldn't i but that was in there like that i glanced in there and i thought oh that looks like a solenoid and then i saw this broken yeah they've broken it and i thought oh right so either that's when that's you know yourself sometimes when you go to undo it these, all turns or breaks it all turns and breaks or when they've had to we don't know to what extent they removed the engine or moved mm, the engine. It's no. got damage then, hasn't it? And then I thought, no, nah, this can't be. It can't <laughs> be. And they've gone like that. And there's a brand new solenoid. Brand new toy. solenoid. How about that? So you couldn't we, make that we up, We knew could there was you? this box of bits, didn't we? Yes, we did. So if anyone looks back on the old video, I'm sure we didn't put them in there. No. Don't, if you... When you pan around, they're probably in there. Yeah, they probably but I are. Didn't you're really right. Pay much attention. So I'm going to bring the work, the uh, starter motor in the workshop in a minute, and put that back on it. Liven her up. Which then that can go back on. Yeah, I'll, I'll bench test it with a with a battery, make sure it engages. Yeah. And then starter motor can go back on. We will put new plugs in it. We'll probably try it with the old leads rotor arm, but I think. We will be changing those, won't we? Yeah. I well, see, you've got the drive manual as well. There's a drive manual. There's a manual there. Which is the handy, because it ain't on. Sea line owner's manual. Out drive. Oh, and mate. Then engine. It's funny, we've left it so long, I forgot about all this. Yeah, so... Lucky you thought to have a look. So, um, yeah, I can get the torque setting for that. Um, Lifter. That, yeah, and tighten that back up. Um, yeah, all good, really. Nice one, so, mate. Um, We'll, we'll cut. We'll, we'll wait till you get oh, that start motor in a workshop. The, then. You know, you pointed out on those manifolds, Rob. Yeah. I think we had seen these before. Careful, that's got an address yeah. on it, mate. Brand new gaskets. Brand new gaskets for those manifolds. There is also in there. This is all related to the outdoor. Yeah. Guessing. But it's all new. Yeah. So, uh, new hose there. And then. There's bushings there, which are probably to do with the swivel, are they? Possibly, mate. It's so, anyway. You're gonna, well, you can part number everything on there, can't we? But so yeah. far, then, 
So good, and you can continue on because we was going yes. to, have to stop. Yes, we. I could put my gloves back on. We'll take that in the workshop. Get that put back together. Let's do it. How lucky was that finding that new solenoid? It just restores your faith in when I bought this boat, the guy said everything's there for it and you shouldn't have any problems. And this just proves that he was a hundred percent true to his word. So Chris has got that solenoid on there, on with a jump pack, testing that it all works and it's all perfect. So let's get that fitted. Chris has been a very, very busy bee out here, so I've We've got those two new batteries that we purchased from Reclamet and they've kindly given all, all of you guys a 10% off. So there's a link for that in the description. Chris, how are you getting on? Yes, uh, so rocker cover's back on, plugs are still removed. I've sprayed loads of gear down the bores. I've also removed the air cleaner. I've also poured a bit of a mix of engine oil and diesel down into the inlet and that's been in there quite a long time just soak soak the bores so the idea is connect them new batteries up yeah you go on the key yeah and the, i tested that start motor on the bench it it should turn over but it should blow all that out the out the plug holes, shouldn't it? Yeah, and you, I see you've put the manifolds on there with I one bolt I put those each. on there, yeah, because they're the exhausts and any debris that's down them is going to get blown out. Yeah. I don't want it going down the carb because I might need to uh, get to that or spray more stuff down it. So I think all I've got to do is probably connect batteries up. We've got an isolator there, one for services, one for engines. So we're probably only go with this battery first off because we've tested no electrics i think services probably runs your ignition now yeah possibly well, what i think we should do is we connect that one up we turn that on there and we just observe make sure there's no smoke yeah and, yeah and if that's all all right we do the same with that one and then you've got to go on the key do you want me to stay rolling while you connect that up? can do it yeah might as yeah, well yeah. if it takes too long you can always trim it can't yeah you? So you can just talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'm I'm quite quite excited about this, Chris, because Good. you've got a lot done in this video already. Well, it's nice to know that that engine turns over, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be nice if that starter but you, works. You must be aching a bit, mate, because oh, uh, off, mate. right isolator. It's on, That's is on. it? That's on. Let's just see if we get anything Yeah, let me up. just get clear of the front pulley. Yeah, I'm just having a just, look up here. Just flick the key if you like. Mind you, we probably want the camera on here if... Yeah, nothing's come up. So we probably do need that second one. That yeah. second one, right, let's connect. I can't, I can't see anything. Smoking there was, or there's anything? There's no, no sparks anywhere, was there, anything? No. Right. And then, of course, he's got this one down this side here. Yeah, it's just that one, isn't it? Let's make sure that ignition's off. Oh, yeah, it's off. You getting any kind of little arc there or anything? No, but that isolator is off, isn't it? So I That guess... banging noise doesn't scare you anymore, does it? Because no. you know what it is now. That's the back door slamming just behind there. Caught us out yesterday. Yeah, we don't... You don't want to say that on camera, back door slamming, do you? No. Someone will pick you up on that. Right. Yeah, I'll mate, let you take that. See if you've got anything on the dashboard at all, Rob. Yes. Have you? Yeah, all the gauges are moved. Oh, I'll, I'll build the camera up there, Rob. Half a tank, look, I'll turn it off. See oh. all the gauges? Yeah, I see it's got half a tank of fuel. Half a tank of fuel. I've got that turned off and disconnected, Rob. It's done 105.7 hours. Is that all it's done? Yeah. Mind you. You know. Here, Chris, that's either the hours or the clock. <laughs> right, just give it a flick on the key, see if we've got anything at all, Rob. Oh, Nothing? Then, no, just the whole ignition's turning. Is it? No, do you know what, Chris? I reckon if you wiggle the wire, look, it's all gone off. Everything's gone off. You wiggle one of those wires. Really? Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what I am going to do is just put them towels in there in case... We do flick it and get it going. 
it catch most of that. You know, as soon as it went to go to the starter, it cut Did the it? power. Yeah. I think both, both of them are. Yeah, it's back on now. Right, it's the master switch. Right. You know this spring loading. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, well it's on. So if I give right. you this camera again. Oh yeah. You ready? Yep. yep. Uh, it's done it again. Has it? It's come back on. No, it's gone off. Has it? Yeah, have a wiggle with I'm the... I'm probably going to have to spray some WD-40 in that, Rob. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Should we call it there for I a minute then probably... and have a play? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, you've given that a good spray. I don't yeah. know if you want to zoom in or zoom out or whatever. Right. Still yeah, got, still got electrics? A... Yes, yeah, better contact. Chris, right. is that oil pressure there or level? It's probably got... Well, it's most likely got oh, it an does, oil pressure. Yeah, it does say bar. It's already well, it's up. Pressure, pressure then. Right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Yeah. It turns over. Yeah, go on. Carry on, yeah? Yep. Tell me when to stop. Yeah, go on. We want to blow all that. Yeah, lovely. Make yep. much mess. Yeah, it's catching on them towels. Bit of smoke there. Yeah, it's going to, isn't it? Out there, yeah. Uh, you can smell a bit of the WD-40 oh, I mate. first put down there. Can you smell it? Yeah, honestly. So, that's right. The smile on my face, just hearing that turn over. That's good, isn't it? Quite a WD-40 does stink, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, right. I'll carry on, shall I? Yeah, definitely, mate. Yeah. All right. And then we'll... Um, yeah, we're getting near the excitement. Yeah, definitely. Start putting right. a few bits back on it. Oh, mate. So again, we've mentioned it previously, it's so tight in here, and this is where Chris is fitting those six spark plugs. Free one side, obviously, and free the other side. And it is, you've only got minimal movement, and you've actually got to bend right down there low to see what it is you're actually doing. Excuse the pants, onto the other side, get those three in, and I think we're pretty much there with it. Right, that's semi. So, battery turned back on, Rob. If you can do the honours, we'll um, we'll have an idea of. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Right. Yeah, sounding that pretty good, isn't sounds it? Sounds really good, Chris. That does. Yeah. So I better time it up, and I. Unfortunately, someone had removed all the plug leads, didn't they? Yeah. So we're going to have to get that workshop manual out, see what the firing order is, and the rotation on the distributor cap, or on the distributor, I should say. Remove the cap. Yeah. And Spin it over and have a look. Get it, get it. The timing marks are easy to get to there. Oh. So get it on number one, and then um, the rotor arm will be pointing to number one in the side of the dizzy cap. Yeah. And then as long as we know the direction, the rotation, clockwise or anti-clockwise of the dizzy, we can we can work the leads out from that, can't we? Yeah. To the firing order. It's getting exciting. So um, we do that, yeah. Let's do it. So, yeah. So I've got that top dead centre for cylinder number one and the rotor arm is pointing there and we've established it's a clockwise rotation yep and we've got the firing order there so that's simply as it as the distributor rotates the order in which it fires yeah so you're gonna keep that up there because I won't I won't remember them six numbers no and I'm gonna go back on there like that got another lead here haven't we so that is number one which does it's quite a long lead so I might reroute these later Rob yeah but for just for the purpose of this well if it runs all right mate we'll be buying a new set yeah we will so that's one then next is six isn't it it is yeah Guys, I appreciate you can't see a great deal. It is quite a small gap Chris is working yeah. in there, but... Need head cam, really, don't I? Yeah. Six. What's next, Rob? Five. Five. So that'll be that one. So I'll clip these, I think. Five. It should be... Well, it's easy after one. It's six, five, four, three, two. Right, that's number five on. Uh, sorry, and what was it next? Four. Four. So 
That's that one. Four. Bit tight that route. We'll have to go that way for a minute. And of course, when we do put a new set of leads on it, we will mark the leads so that it's obvious for the fire and order. Uh, what was next, Rob? Three. Yeah, it's got to be, isn't it, really? And then two. back on later but right so that should be it timed up ignition timing anyway didn't mention this earlier Rob but this is from my old dinghy right which I kept with the auxiliary fuel, fuel tank. tank so I've removed the incoming fuel pipe there I can see that yeah made up this so it's feeding the fuel filter down to the fuel pump and we're going to connect my fuel tank which is full of petrol ready we'll stick that outside and that should give us fuel shouldn't it we should have spark we've got compression it's got two chances yep it's got two chances mate so i guess we're going to have a tidy up get some fuel there introduce that and turn her over that's it mate Let's get it tidied up. We have got a little bit of a fuel leak, we have, but we've yeah. primed it up, so mm. we're just going to give it a little whirl. We can't yeah. run it for long anyway. Right, you ready? Yeah, go, go for it. She's away, mate. She's away. She's away. Yeah. Good enough for me, Rob. Is that all six cylinders? Sounds like it. Obviously, the exhausts are leaking a bit, but I think we knock it off there. Because the, pe the petrol pump is leaking, so let's. Uh, if I can give you this, I'm going to disconnect that, and then uh, no more fuel will go down. No, let's it? get that on the floor. Yeah, um, yeah. Unfortunately, it's coming out the body of the petrol pump, so that's going to need the petrol. It's a mechanical petrol pump, so that's going to have to be removed. They're like a lift pump, aren't they? She runs, though, mate. She runs. So well happy with that. We can now proceed, can't we? We can buy stuff for it. Yeah. Oil, filter, fuel pump, gas. Well, it's not only you know, that, is it? We can piece everything together, and any parts that are missing out the jigsaw, we don't mind spending the money on that. No. Really. We didn't really want to go that route. We knew nothing about and it. And then find the engines uh, toast. So, oh, yeah, mate. pleased with that, aren't you? That's going to make my weekend, that is, knowing that this is sitting here and it's run. And I know all of you have really really been looking forward to a boat video and i think mate now is as good a time as any to call it yeah unfortunately that is we've got no spares for that petrol pump as i say so that's gonna have to be removed and order a rebuild kit isn't it? yeah let's get on in the background and get it done guys that is going to be the end of today's video as usual we do hope that you did enjoy it if you did we'd appreciate you hitting that thumbs up you can follow us on instagram at salvage rebuilds you can also follow Chris on his own Instagram at Salvage Rebuilds Chris. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.